Now a days the emerging field of biotechnology in 21st century is nanotechnology. Now what is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is a branch of science that bridges areas in physics, chemistry as well as of biology. Now it is so called nanotechnology because here we use very tiny particles or nanoparticles that's why it is known as nanoscale science. Here we not only use the nanoparticles we can also use nano devices or nano chips. Now there are three applications of nanotechnology these are number one nanomedicine number two nanobiotechnology and the third one is bio nanotechnology now let's discuss them one by one nanomedicine is a branch of medical sciences that is progressing day by day because of the nano robots now these are the nanoparticles devices and the systems that are developed by the researchers so these nano robots are helpful in treating the cancer patients jaise ki aapko wo malum hai ki cancer patient ko agar chemotherapy di jaye to uske kafi side effects hain jaise ki hair loss fatigue uh, nausea but these nano robots are helpful in treating the cancer patients without these side effects because chemotherapy not only kill the cancer cells but they also kill the normal cells however nano ro robots when they are injected into the patient because they are very small in size and they can be easily injected into the cancer patients they seek for the cancer cells without touching the normal cells that's why nano robots has no side effects and it was it is found that it is uh, because of the use of nano robots there is progressive uh, treatment in the cancerous patients then nanobiotechnology nanobiotechnology is a very important application of nanotechnology especially in the field of medical sciences because here we are preparing artificial tissues for example in america three patients have successful uh, implanted artificial culture bacteria in animals uterus have been grown outside and then placed into the body to give birth to the baby stem cell treatments are there for treating many diseases now it is very difficult to study neurons because neurons cannot be cultured but it was found that neurons even the colonies of neurons can live happily they can grow happily on the chip devices uh, which are of nano size the third application of nanotechnology is known as bio nanotechnology it deals with dna lipids proteins now why dna is important keep in mind that dna is a genetic material that is transferred from the parents to the offspring and genes are the unit of heredity that are transferred from one generation to another so variations exist in the sequence of dna uh to that differentiate one individual from an other so we can't ignore the importance of dna in the field of nanotechnology then it is very important to study the structure and function of protein especially protein foldings then physical and chemical properties of the lipids because by understanding completely about the lipids and proteins we can fruitfully study biotechnology or nanotechnology in future this helps basically helps in building up the nano devices that are not only used in the field of medical sciences but also in the field of engineering now number of ethical issues are associated with the field of nanotechnology these are number one high reactivity and toxicity of nanoparticles hum nanoparticles as a scientist use to kar lete hain lekin humne kya kabhi socha ke isse workplace aur consumer uh, kitni intake nanoparticles ki le lega then it can affect the environment so there is the uh, what about the fate of nano waste and it can disturb the whole environment now nanoparticles have the ability to cross the cell membrane they can reside in the cell in the tissues in the organs and can translocate in the body as well now nobody has talked about the economic effects of the nanotechnology now keep in mind that it has number of effects number 1 rapid transformation dislocation of industries and it also play a very important role in disturbing the wealth distribu wealth property distribution now
the privacy issues are also related with the nanotechnology when the patient is receiving any implant in in his or her body